Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all things laundry. I have a literal laundry list of tips and hacks and ideas for you guys to up your laundry game. Ever since LG hooked me up with the ultimate laundry room, I have been a little bit laundry obsessed. I'm not even kidding. I look forward to doing laundry. I have so many new tips and LG very kindly again agreed to sponsor today's video. If you are new here to my channel, make sure to subscribe before you go and also make sure you are following me over on Instagram. I have a big giveaway going on over $1,000 value. So it's at Vassar Beauty. Go find me there. With all of that said, Let's go ahead and get started. So one thing you guys know about me for sure, I love my leggings. In my world, leggings are pants. So I know a thing or two about washing and preserving my leggings. These are my babies, okay? The biggest thing you need to do when washing leggings or any athletic wear for that matter is turn them inside out before they go in the wash. This will keep the fabrics nice and protected, but more than anything, it prevents Pilling and pilling is the enemy of leggings and athletic wear because once your clothes start pilling, it's very hard to turn back. But that does lead me to hack number two, just in case it's already too late and you do have some pilling on your leggings or sweaters or whatever it may be, you can use a razor and get some of that pilling off. Just be very gentle with it and you just take it very delicately along the fabric and you can just shave the little pills right off. Now, speaking of turning things inside out, a general rule you wanna follow is any of your clothing that are dark colored or bright colored, turn it inside out in the wash and it will help protect those colors from fading. Little hack for freshening your laundry hamper because look, as I've mentioned before, Ryan has some very, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, pungent gym clothes. So you want to keep the hamper itself fresh as you're waiting to do laundry and just to make sure it doesn't get all nasty. So what I like to do here is you could get a pair of pantyhose or a cheesecloth, something that's a breathable fabric, fill that up with baking soda and then load it up with your favorite essential oils, then tie that and put it at the bottom of your laundry hamper. The baking soda will absorb the bad odors and then the essential oils will emit a pleasant odor. So you're kind of doing two things at once. The same little hack you can also use in your shoes. You just make them in smaller bags and you could put one little one in each shoe and that will help absorb odors in your shoes and then also give them a nice pleasant scent. So now let's talk about saving time while we're doing laundry because this is a major pain point for me. I hate the fact that every time I have to do my laundry, it's like a whole day ordeal. So it has been so amazing ever since upgrading to my ultimate dream laundry room with my new LG appliances in how much time this saves me, literally hours. The biggest game changer for me is this washer, which is the LG WM3900. This can power wash big loads of laundry in under 30 minutes, which is just so insane, so fast, and has saved me so much time. I could also manage my time so much more effectively with all the smart features this washer comes with. So I have it connected to my phone and my Alexa at home. So now I get notifications when my wash is done to remind me to put it immediately into the dryer. Now I've also cut my time literally in half by using my sidekick. This goes just below the washer and these two together are called the twin wash. There's a little mini washing machine and what I do is I wash my delicates concurrently with my main load of wash. So I can do two loads of laundry at once now my dryer, which is the DLEX 3900, has an ultra large capacity so I can dry everything at once. I don't have to do multiple cycles and wait all day for my clothes to dry. And this dryer also connects to my phone and a little tip I like to do to save on energy costs is I will start my dryer remotely from my phone while I'm in bed later at night. So at least in my area, if I run it after 9 p.m., then I save on energy costs. Now my styler, which is my companion to my washer and dryer, is a amazing for drying delicate or specialty items much faster than air drying alone. And as an added bonus, as it's drying it, it's sanitizing it, it's steaming it, it's deodorizing it. So overall using my new LG appliances has saved me time every step along the way. It has been the best ever. So if you guys wanna check out these appliances in more detail, I will have all of the links down in the description box. Now we all wanna know, what is the real secret to getting soft, fluffy, 
plush towels. I actually wanted to know myself, so I did some research and I figured it out. You wanna add a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of baking soda to your wash cycle, and that is the key to getting your towels extra soft and fluffy, no fabric softener needed. Now this I think is really interesting. One of the biggest mistakes people make when doing laundry is adding in too much detergent. So overdosing on detergent can create so many suds that it ends up trapping soil and allowing it to redeposit onto your clothes. So less is actually more when it comes to your detergent. Try cutting it down by a third or half and see how much cleaner your clothes end up being. And an added bonus, it will save you money on having to restock on your detergent because it will last longer. I don't know why this took me so many years to figure out, but every laundry room needs its own special lint bin. And this one is really special because it hangs on the wall and I even labeled it lint. Before I had this, I was like that person who every single time I was using my dryer would have to remove the lint, walk all the way to the trash can and throw it away. Nobody has time for that, okay? We're in 2019. You may or may not know that pretty much anytime I am out in public and outside, I'm wearing a hat and I need to wash these hats and keep them clean because if you don't, the sweat and bacteria on the lid of the hat will get on your forehead and make you break out. So to wash your hats, you just need one of these guys. You may or may not have seen these before, but this is just a friendly reminder because I washed my hat without it a couple weeks ago, I know, and I ruined my favorite hat. So now we're always using our little hat guard. Now this is something really, really useful. Get a mesh laundry bag. You can even find these at the dollar store. And after you're wearing your socks, instead of putting them in the main hamper, put them in this little mesh laundry bag. You can throw this in the wash with all of your clothes. It's gonna wash your socks together so they're not gonna go missing. Then you could also just transfer this over to your dryer so your socks all get washed and dried together. You don't ever lose them. If you have clothes that are extra, extra smelly, let's say you wear these to the gym, you're really sweating it up. What you wanna do is pre-soak those in a mixture of one part distilled white vinegar and three parts warm water. Let it soak in that mixture for about an hour at least two hours would be better, and then wash it because the vinegar will go in and help break down some of that bacteria that's leading to that odor. Now for washing bras in particular, this is an issue that I had been having where the little pads will come out and get all mangled and they're never quite the same. So I found these guys, it's a special delicate laundry bag. So you put your bra in here, it fits nice perfectly. So when it's washing, it doesn't get all mangled tangled and ruined in the wash. Another little gadget that I didn't know I needed but has been very useful, it is a hanger hanger. It is a little rack you can use to hang your extra hangers, keeping them all nice and stacked in your closet so they're not in the way, they're not taking up space after you do a load of laundry. The hangers are right there, easy to grab and put away. Some people know this, some people don't, but this is something I have been doing for years. When you're putting your clothes in the dryer, throw a dry bath towel in the dryer with your clothes and that dry towel will absorb some of the moisture in there just to help speed the drying process. Another thing I like to do in the dryer, just in case you have not heard about this, is use dryer balls, wool balls in particular. So I have mentioned these a couple times before and every time I mention them, I have so many people like, I've never heard of that. So I just wanna say it again because it is something that I absolutely swear by. There's so many benefits to it. So I put in at least six wool balls and the wool balls get in between your clothing while it's drying and it helps aerate them and that helps speed up the drying process. Beyond that, I put essential oils on the wool balls and that releases a natural, beautiful scent onto your clothing. Now in my time on this earth, I've had so many different types of hampers. I really tried way too many. It's kind of weird, but I have finally found what at least right now is my favorite hamper system. They are these very inexpensive pop-up hampers. So when you're not using them, they fold up flat and they have the handles on them that I hang on the back of the laundry room door. When they are in use, you pop them open. I find that the more hampers you have, the more you'll use them and your clothes won't end up on the floor. But in my closet, I actually have three of these, okay? So I have one for my lights, one for my dark. And then here's the tip, have an extra little hamper as you are trying on clothes, wearing clothes, things that you don't absolutely love, 
have that hamper there as a donation bin. So you can constantly be decluttering and donating clothes that you don't love. And it's just gonna be a good reminder. Now, if you are limited in floor space, something else that I love are hanging hampers. This is what Carter has in his nursery. His room is really small, so this is the best use of space in his room. So that's another option. The key to doing laundry is selecting the right temperature, but it gets confusing. Does anyone really know? I mean, I'm sure a lot of us do, but just in case you need a little refresher, the way that I think about it, just to simplify things, you want to use a cold cycle for anything that might shrink, any bright colors, dark colors or anything that is more delicate. So warm water is gonna just be your standard cycle for your regular loads, your cotton, jersey fabrics, and then your hot cycle. Those are for things you really wanna deep clean and sanitize. So towels, cotton whites, heavily stained items, those would go in a hot cycle. And I do recommend in general throwing all of your towels in their own separate cycle. Another thing, when in doubt, in terms of mixed loads, use a stain catcher. They make these little sheets, you could throw them in the wash, and if there are any colors that bleed, it will collect those colors onto the little sheets so it won't transfer onto your other clothing. I actually did a whole video where I was testing different stain removal methods. The best thing I found that worked on the most types of stains is Dawn dish liquid or dish liquid in warm water and a brush, just brushing the stain out. Now, if you do that, you wash your clothes and there's still a stain there. The biggest thing you want to remember, don't dry your clothing if it's stained. That will set in the stain and nearly impossible to go back. So if your clothing still looks stained, then you could go back, repeat that process of stain removal, washing it until the stain is removed and then you can move it into the dryer. Now the last little laundry trick I wanna share is to not forget to wash your washer because you can't get your clothes clean if your washer isn't clean and it's just something very easy to neglect and forget about. I recommend washing your washing machine every one to two months. My washer actually has like a self-cleaning cycle. So here's how you do it. You wanna take your empty washing machine and put two cups of baking soda and then run that on a long hot water cycle so the baking soda is a mild abrasive so it's going to go in gently scrub the interior remove some of those moldy odors so after that cycle you want to then add two cups of distilled white vinegar and also about 20 drops of your favorite essential oil. I like to go for lemon or lavender because those also have antimicrobial properties. Then run that on another long hot cycle and the vinegar and essential oils are going to act to disinfect the interior of your washing machine. Just set a reminder in your phone, a recurring reminder. I'll probably do it every six weeks or so because I want to keep my new washer nice and fresh. Oh, also, especially if you have a front loading washer, don't forget to always wipe the interior gasket with a microfiber cloth after every cycle. You don't want any remaining moisture on there because it could lead to mildew development over time. So just always wipe it down, very quick to do, and it will keep it fresh longer. So that is going to be it. I don't know how many little laundry tips we covered today, but there's at least 28 on my list. All right, so that is going to be it. These are my very practical, useful laundry tips that I have been following, that have stepped up my laundry game. I hope you guys did enjoy this and you got some good ideas from it. If you did, give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, especially if you're watching all the way to this point in the video. And let me know, what is your favorite little laundry tip or technique that you like to use down in the comments. I would love to read it. And with all of that said, thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.